latest AMD Radeon Pro range consists of three workstation GPUs in the lineup. So we're going to take a closer look at the specs and use cases of each card, but before we get into the individual cards, let's take a moment to understand what we mean by the term Radeon Pro when referring to AMD graphics cards. AMD has two ranges of GPUs, consumer and professional. The consumer Radeons are designed for use in gaming PCs, whereas the Radeon Pros are aimed at professional workstations. The Radeon Pro cards are constructed from enterprise class components, ensuring better reliability and resiliency. And failure rates of professional grade GPU cards are considerably lower, especially when used at full load for longer periods of time. And they're supported by certified software application drivers. Using certified drivers ensures optimal stability and enterprise class support if you do run into any issues. And also, zero day program means that ISV applications are certified before new drivers are released for download, rather than just with each generation of new hardware. AMD Radeon Pro GPUs also feature considerably larger frame buffers than consumer versions, enabling larger and more complex renders and compute simulations to be processed. Selected models have ECC memory, which acts to protect data from corruption, so any errors are eradicated prior to them affecting the workload being processed. And finally, the professional cards benefit from AMD Secure Processor technology, which helps to protect sensitive data and validate code before it's executed. It also helps to protect your system and data from unauthorized software and applications running on your device. As of autumn 2022, the AMD Radeon Pro range is made up of the W6800, the W6600 and the W6400 cards, all based on the RDNA2 architecture. A key new feature of RDNA2 is the implementation of high-performance ray tracing known as the Ray Accelerator. This specialized hardware handles the intersection of rays directly on the AMD Radeon Pro GPU to accelerated hardware ray tracing. Support for 8K video projects and up to 6 4K HDR displays is enabled via AMD Infinity Cache technology. This high-frequency L3 caching approach allows data that's likely to be needed and reused to be temporarily held in high-speed GPU memory. AMD Radeon Relay for VR technology means you have untethered freedom to naturally navigate your creations as you would in the real world without worrying about wires, base stations or dedicated VR rooms. Additionally, you can easily access the full GPU accelerated experience of an AMD Radeon Pro powered workstation from virtually anywhere with the remote workstation IP built into AMD Software Pro Edition. These GPUs also feature PCIe 4 connectivity, which provides twice the bandwidth of PCIe 3, boosting data transfer speed between the GPU, CPU and system memory for data intensive tasks such as data science, animation, game design and complex renders. To better understand any relative performance and ideal use cases, we need to consider the specs of the cards. Firstly, the W6800 has 3840 stream processors and 60 ray accelerators, plus 32GB of GDDR6 ECC memory. This top of the range card features 128MB of L3 Infinity Cache and supports 6 4K or 2 8K displays, making this card perfect for a high end workstation dealing with 8K video editing real-time visualization, big data analysis, and scientific computing. Next, the W6600 has 1,792 stream processors and 28 ray accelerators, plus 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, and it features 32 megabytes of L3 Infinity Cache, supporting four 4K or a single 8K display, although its performance scores drop relative to the W6800 due to the lower core count and smaller frame buffer, this card is an ideal choice for a mid-range workstation, supporting complex 3D design and modeling workflows. And finally, the W6400 has 768 stream processors, 12 ray accelerators, 4 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory, and 16 megabytes of L3 Infinity Cache. It supports two 4K or a single 8K display, and again, despite a low score when compared to the W6800, it's still a very capable card aimed at entry-level workstation use dealing with 2D and 3D design, modeling tasks or image editing workloads. If you've found the information in this video useful, please take a second to like this video and subscribe to our Pro Graphics channel for more videos that look at various areas of graphics technology. And if you have any questions regarding the AMD Radeon Pro range, please don't hesitate to comment below and one of our team will get back to you.